Windows, the premier DAW available today, that enables you to mix for Dolby Atmos completely in the box, without any need for additional external hardware or third-party software. Developed in close cooperation with Dolby, the integrated renderer for Dolby Atmos and the ADM authoring module enable you to create, author, mix and deliver Dolby Atmos compliant ADM broadcast WAV files and, at the same time, the final stamps in different surround configurations. Immerse yourself in the rapidly expanding Dolby Atmos revolution. All you need is Nuendo. The renderer for Dolby Atmos plugin can only be used with a project sample rate of 48 kHz and an ASU buffer size of 512 samples. Check if your project is set up accordingly and adjust if necessary. The configuration of the output bus determines the maximum channel width of the rendering output and should match the speaker configuration of the mix room. Set the new output bus as main mix. When monitoring an object-based project, all the audio will be routed through the renderer for Dolby Atmos. Therefore, it will have to be inserted into the project's main output bus. In the new ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos panel, Select the Renderer for Dolby Atmos plugin in the Renderer drop-down menu. To create new beds, simply click on the Add Bed button, select the source track or group channel and enter a name, or apply the name of the source track. Create as many beds as you need. In the Renderer plugin, bed channels can be identified by a yellow frame. There are two ways to create and assign objects to the Renderer for Dolby Atmos plugin. The first one is quite similar to the bed creation procedure. The second way is more convenient and comfortable, especially if you have to assign lots of objects. First, select the source tracks you want to assign to objects. In the ADM authoring panel, select Create objects from selected tracks to create, assign and name new objects for each of the selected tracks simultaneously. You can export your mix as an ADM broadcast WAV file with just a few clicks. Open the ADM panel and click on Export ADM file. The exported file will contain all the audio objects and beds, as well as all dynamic 3D panning metadata and static metadata. It will also include rendering instructions for the playback device. The ADM WAV file can then be loaded into other devices or programs that support Dolby Atmos, such as the Dolby Atmos production suite for playback, further editing, mastering, including the necessary metadata to reproduce all static bed audio, object panning and level automation.
The renderer can also create a channel-based downmix version of the object-based mix. In the renderer panel, choose the surround or stereo format to which you want to downmix your project. In the export audio mixdown window, select the output channel containing the renderer plugin and choose the option to export as split channels. The number of exported mono audio files will match the channel count of the project's main output bus. Depending on the downmix format, some of these audio files will be empty and can be deleted. For example, a downmix from 7.1.4 to 7.1 would produce four empty audio files. To create an interleaved audio file from the split channels, simply import the files to a Nuendo project, check the correct channel order and use the Convert Tracks Mono to Multi-Channel function from the project menu. If your project starts with an ADM file, from the Dolby Atmos production suite for example, you can easily import it into a Nuendo project for further editing, processing and mixing. All bed and object audio channels, including their 3D panning automation, program level metadata and group structure are extracted from the ADM WAV file. Folder tracks are created to represent the ADM program and group structure, while object tracks are assigned to the VST multipanner with existing pan and volume automation. I'm Zahu Zahihi from Soundbits. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nuendo channel. Goodbye.